Right now, uh, we've received uh, an EMAC request from the state of Florida. The Florida State Fire Marshal has requested uh, a Type 2 USAR team from Louisiana. What that consists of specifically um, is 90 personnel uh, that'll come with, with light uh, urban search and rescue equipment, you know, uh, and, and the building collapses that they think might occur, uh, the equipment they bring will allow them to open doors, lift walls, uh, breach, you know, minor collapses, as well as equipment to do water rescue, whether it be swift water rescue or whether it be fast water rescue, but the ability to come in with water assets, make rescue, search buildings. So where we are today is we'll deploy these 90 people in the morning. Uh, they'll. They'll, they will move as close to Florida as they can, maybe just inside of Florida, uh, and, and wait the uh, approach of, of Hurricane Michael. Uh, once a hurricane has passed, they'll immediately work under the command and control of the Florida officials and do this primary search, which is basically going into a, uh, a, a ravaged area and, and look for injured people, look for trapped people. Then they'll follow that up with a secondary search, which would actually be a door-to-door -door house by house, building by building search to make sure everyone is accounted for. Uh, we believe it'll be, uh, though it's a seven day deployment, uh, in talking with, with uh, uh, the Florida Fire Marshal Julius Hallis, Julius thinks that it, it'll probably be about a two and a half, three day active event. We believe with the number of responders that'll be there, we can do this primary and secondary search in about in, in, in that manner of two or three days. Um, so it's um, it, it's just a testament to what Louisiana stands for. We got some great assets and we got some great responders. I mean, we're pulling the best of the best from the uh, the New Orleans area, the Baton Rouge area, the Monroe area, the Lafayette area, uh, along with the fire marshal deputies. And you know, again. We're going to provide life safety, but I'll always tell you what I love about when Louisiana responders go. In the end, we bring about humanity. You know, they appreciate what, what our spirit has carrying Louisiana people are, and we'll leave there with a lot more friends than we had.